Well, hello there, guys, and welcome to Break and Shot Campaigns. This is a game that was just released, guys, about yesterday or the day before, um, and it's basically the successor to Pike and Shot. However, in this particular game, we get to go ahead and create our own armies. We get to assign unit colors. We can do whatever we want. Now, by the name, you've probably already imagined that I'm going to be playing with Gustavus Adolphus. And for those of you that are fans of Sabaton, probably one of my favorite songs as well um, as one of my favorite leaders of all time. So we're going to go ahead and play as Gustavus Adolphus in a major campaign. Um, and this week, I'm going to focus almost exclusively on this game. So I really hope that you guys will provide me with support feedback I mean the more views I get the better obviously so let's go ahead we're gonna jump right in here um, and we are playing as Gustavus Adolphus in the Grand Camp them once and for all um, so here we are we are of course playing as the Swedes um, and we will go ahead now for own forces setup this is interesting you can change this to custom um, but I actually prefer automatic because you get some pretty interesting setups and the computer puts you in some pretty good positions especially if you attack correctly so I'm gonna go ahead and start the campaign so here we go. Welcome to the campaign, your majesty. Your objective is to capture the imperialist-held provinces and defeat their armies until their leaders accept freedom of worship and renounce the Catholic Church's claim of force claims on former church lands. Your officers have raised armies for you as shown on the map, using all available funds using the Swedish army list. At the end of the year, tax will be collected and there should be money to raise more troops next spring, but these and all subsequent recruitment will be from the German Protestant list. Take care of your Swedish salvo re re regiments, they are irreplaceable. So so as you guys can see, our Swedish reg regiments actually do not get re reformed at any point in the game. Once they're defeated, they're defeated. There's nothing we can do. Um, now, what I could do here is start merging my armies together, which is kind of what I want to do. Um, and merging an army is one of the awesome things you could do in the new Pike and Shot campaign system. So I'm going to jump right in here and try to merge or combine these two armies, whichever word you prefer. Um, and I will be combining these guys. So I'm going to go ahead and combine this army in Saxony. And remember, each of these provinces generates a certain degree of income for us. Um, now, I could drop back to Westphalia, which is what I'm going to do with this Swedish 4th Army, and actually try to go ahead and basically force the enemies to attack us. If we had attacked them head-on, they could have easily reinforced that army. This is going to work out much better. And as you can see, we've now begun siege operations in Westphalia, which is the only imperial province in this area. Um, and of course, with our Swedish First Army, we will move into Franconia. And as you can see, the enemy has retreated. They want no part of that fight. And who can blame them? We would have kicked their ass pretty badly. Um, as for these guys right here in Luzatia, I'm not sure I want to attack. Because if we do attack, we're facing possibly two armies here. Um, and that's why I'm not really that big on attacking. Now, we could raise a new army, and this is a, essentially an entirely new part of the game that's really cool. Sadly, we don't have any points to raise a new army, but this is an ability you actually have, um, is to basically build up your own army uh, from the ground up, and that's so cool and adds so much more glory to the Pike and Shot series. So let's go ahead. We're going to have to end the turn. I'm not going to be attacking. Uh, army does not have... Yes, I know. I know. And we're going to end the turn, and there we go. Wow, three armies. Holy crap. Do you guys see that? That is intense. So the actual um, Imperials just form three armies which is pretty incredible um and that's not something i want to deal with so i'm going to go ahead and try to get my westphalian troops to come back and form my own huge army here we'll combine our armies and we will move towards bavaria which is where the enemy is right now um as for this Swedish third army i'm not going to do anything with them i'm just going to go ahead and end turn uh, if the enemy wants to attack me there fine but i'll be on the defensive and there we go the enemy is in franconia now wow look at this so this is where they basically try to use their numbers to really beat us um, and what they're doing is they're spreading out their forces and attacking several different provinces so i'm going to go ahead and give chase and i'm hoping that here since they're running away to Württemberg, they will fight i do believe they will let's charge and no they ran the cowards unbelievable um i do want to definitely deal with this army in saxony uh, but like I said, I may just want to wait for now. So for now, I'm going to end turn and wait. And yes, there is a lot of end turning and waiting um, for not a large part of this game, for, for some. And at this point, we are actually chasing them into Austria. It's a hilly area, so it's going to be really easy for them to defend. But we have also a very large army. And I'm going to go ahead and, wow, once again, these cowards have run off. We just can't have that. That's just unacceptable. Um, I'm going to go ahead and have to attack one of these guys with this army. Let's move into Silesia. And once again, the enemy runs. Unbelievable. Um, so at least we know the... I guess the fighting resolve of the enemy here, which is not very good. 
Uh, let's go ahead and end our turn. Sorry about that, guys. Got a little telemarketer calling. Uh, we will end our turn. The glory of Gustavus Adolphus must go on. Um, and there we go. I really want to get into a fight with these guys, but they just don't want to fight this huge army, which is really funny, actually. There we go. Battle has been joined in the hilly provinces of Franconia. The Catholic forces are offering open battle. Local Catholic forces have joined the army. Now, this is scary because when you're in a Catholic province, uh, there's going to be people sympathetic to their cause, and they're going to get some militia units to assist. Um, let's go ahead, guys. We're going to proceed with this battle. Battle, and let's hope that we get a victory. Uh, of course, I wish people would stop playing games. There we go. All right, here we go. We must win here against the Catholic. Got a massive, massive Swedish army, or I should say Swedish slash German army here, uh, ready to go. And as you can see, these are the units we have over here on the left side for this battle. Um, now, we have automatic placement, so the troops will be placed automatically here, as you can see. Uh, and just look at that. Look how beautiful that is. Oh, ho, ho, ho. amazing. All right, so right off the bat, we see that we have a huge hill in the middle. Um, and this is something I want to be able to use if I can. So I'm going to go ahead and start deploying my forces. Um, now, like I said, the PC, or the computer, I should say, deploys for you, but you can always deploy forces on your own, uh, which is what I'm doing here. We've got a large hill to our backside, and we can actually put most of our men on that hill, but I want to make sure that we've got our men nice and set up. Let's go ahead. All right, deploy. As for our cavalry units, I think you guys can imagine where I'm going to put them. Uh, we're going to put them right in here basically in the woods so that they're nice and hidden and I'll bring up the rest of these guys I'll put as many in the woods as I can and these guys are gonna be our initial attacking force remember we are the attacker so we will be attacking first we will be pushing forward first uh, and that means that I want to make sure that our guys are ready to move uh, and like I said we have an uphill advantage, but the enemy front line is there, so we don't really get to use that uphill advantage for this particular battle. Uh, we're going to have to take the battle to them. It's that simple. All right, I think this is pretty good. Just a flat, straight line. We want to bring another pike unit over here, perhaps. Let's put them... Maybe we can make them a reserve unit, actually. Um, and again, I think this is pretty good, because we'll be able to move them into the forest. That's always fun. Uh, and we'll get this cavalry unit... And let's put him over here. As you can see, this is one of the greatest parts of the game. We just have so much we can do here um, in terms of placement, etc. And I'm going to actually put this artillery right there. And we'll unlimber them, unlimber these guys too. We can always relimber them in case that wasn't a good idea. And let us begin the fight. This is our first battle, guys, as Gustavus Adolphus, as the Swedes and their German allies uh, against the Catholic Church and its heretical followers. And here we go. The residual shooting phase is basically just your army firing, um, and then the enemy army fires, uh, and this, this goes on each turn at the end of each turn but right now that's not happening and here we go this is the catholic army that has come to battle guys and they look pretty imposing i must admit it's not something i would want to face on my worst day um they've already unlimbered their cannons and they're getting prepared to fire as you can see it doesn't seem that they're in any sort of uh, how should i put this uh, urban area or i should say uh, hilly area they're in more of an urban area there's a little sort of town right there and that's certainly going to be uh, an issue so here we go, guys. We're going to start moving forward. Of course, like I said, we are the attacking army. We give chase. We must show the enemy that we're stronger, um, that we can defeat these Catholic hordes, and that we're not going to have any problem going to war. So let's go ahead. We're going to open fire on their infantry first. I actually probably should open fire on their cannons since they're so close, but I'm not sure we're going to get a hit. Uh, and we're going to have to slowly move these pikemen sort of around these cannons. This is one poor uh, placement choice that I made uh, in this particular battle, but that's okay. We can always resolve this as time goes on. Um, and as you can see, now our line is not so pretty looking. Let's go ahead and take a look here, but it's still fine. It still works. Um, with our horsemen, of course, I will be moving forward through the woods, guys. Uh, one of the major things we can do in this battle with this forester is we've got to flank the enemy. If we don't, we suck as generals. We must flank the enemy in this battle. Um, and actually, there are some dragoons here. We'll bring them along, too. Just anybody that's useful, essentially. Pull these guys forward. These guys, we've got some commanded shot. Now, the commanded shot can go to our main line, so I'm going to start moving them over there. Um, and the enemy will see that movement, because that's not basically guarded by hills or woods or anything like that. But I'm hoping it's not going to be too much of a problem. So let's go ahead, put another unit here. Another unit here. 
Uh, and let's take a look at our commanded shot units over here. These guys are actually surprisingly incredible, incredible troops. Uh, I'm going to put the actual cavalry in front of them because I can see the enemy has a lot of cavalry. And remember, these are not pike and shot units. These are musketeer units. So if they get attacked by cavalry, there's a good chance they will be destroyed or badly wounded. That being said, I want to make a disclaimer here. I have attacked with commanded shot in this game against cavalry and gotten some pretty awesome results. <laughs> like, actually made cavalry take off and run. So it really depends. Commanded shot are a very versatile unit, as it were. Let's go ahead and grab these guys, move up. Grab these guys, move up as well. Um, and we will end the turn. I just want to make sure we're not forgetting anybody, and indeed we are not. Uh, so let's end the turn and see if the Catholics have the stomach to fight us at all. Alright, the Catholic turn. Army of the Antichrist himself, I say. Come on, guys, give me some Protestant lingo. I'm not, I'm not even religious, but <laughs> this is just fun. Uh, religious wars are fun. Yes, I said it. There we go. All right, so taking already some nasty hits from the enemy cannons. Um, and it looks like they're staying put. They're truly playing the defender. Uh, I don't know if that's a good or bad thing. It's either good because they know that they can't beat us on the open field, or it's bad because they're waiting for us to fall into their inevitable trap. I don't know. We'll soon find out. Uh, okay, we got some Dragoon units. First thing I'm going to do, I'm actually going to bring the Dragoon units over here. And they've got some cover there, as you can see behind that hedge. So I'm going to turn towards the enemy. I should be able to open fire on the Light Hussars. And sure enough, I was. So that's pretty cool. Uh, let's also go ahead and move this Commander Shot unit up. I'm going to turn towards the enemy. And sadly, we can't fire yet, but perhaps we can fire next turn. No, there we go! Opening fire again on the Light Hussars. Uh, I'm going to bring the rest of this cavalry forward, too. Again, I don't want to get into too serious a fight with the enemy on the left flank. Uh, I just want to most mainly focus on moving towards the center, but we may not be able to avoid it. So let's go ahead and get these guys on the roads, get them to start shooting at the enemy, uh, and we'll move these guys up too. And can we get another shot? Yes, we can. Now, we didn't do any damage with that shot, but it gave the enemy the idea. They, they know that we're not to be messed with now. <laughs> at least I think they do. So let's go ahead. Uh, we are continuing to move forward with our main army group. And of course, this is probably going to be the group that makes the main contact with the enemy forces. So we have to be very, very careful with the way that we uh, basically treat them and the way that we move them. We want to make sure that we keep them together. As you can see, that gap in the middle is not a good thing. Uh, it's not something I like. So I'm actually going to move here. And I don't have enough AP left to turn, but I'll turn next turn, turn next turn, uh, so I can basically get these guys in a more symmetrical line. All right, there we go. Moving these guys. Very cool. And I think now we can start coming out of the bushes, out of the woodwork, as it were. In fact, we can sort of hop over here. Uh, we can just kind of hop up little by little. In fact, we can take a shot at these light hussars. Now, it does reveal our position, but to be honest, they know we're coming from this area now anyway. They've spotted that unit. And at this point, I believe we can commence our flank attack on the enemy. Um, and it's not really much of a... Well, it's going to be a flank attack if we break through these guys. Um, because then we can actually get behind the main enemy army, and that's what I'm hoping will happen. So we're going to go ahead. As you can see, our men are speeding out of the forest. I mean, the enemy must be thinking, what the hell is going on? These Protestants are mad. But we're not mad. We're just excellent fighters, and we know what we're doing. So we're going to keep moving forward here, getting closer to the enemy. Unfortunately, none of our men can open fire there. They're mostly Hussar units, um, not all Arquebusiers. Arquebusiers can open fire because they have small arms as well. Um, and let's go ahead, take a look at our guns here, and I'm going to fire at the enemy pike and shot units. Um, I always like to really wound them, hurt them, etc. I'll go ahead and fire at the one in the middle there, and ten! We actually took out ten men. You could just imagine that cannonball rolling through the lines and taking off legs and limbs, all sorts of things. Uh, can we fire with the second one? Yes, we can. We can fire at the second pike and shot unit, so we will. Telemarketers, why must you hate me? Um, so there we go. We've opened fire, guys. Let's end our turn and see what the Catholics will do. As you can see, this is just one part of a major, major campaign. And this battle itself is probably larger than any battle I've ever f fought in the original Pike and Shot. So this is pretty awesome. All right, there we go. The enemy's moving up. Oh, dear. All right, guys, I'm definitely going to need your help. Don't forget to rate in the comments below and put your advice because now the Catholics are coming to battle and we've got that large hill behind us. Now, it would take a lot for us to turn around, go up that hill and turn back, um, especially in a game like Pike and Shot because these guys, they have so much armor on them. They're carrying pikes. It takes way too long. So we really do need to go ahead and join battle here and decide what we're going to do. Remember, if we make 40% of the enemy's troops run, that means we win the battle so that's pretty awesome um here we go 
Okay, it looks like the enemy's got some... Wow, that's beautiful, beautiful units here. Um, these are 10th horse... Uh, and I forget the name of the specific horse they use. We can take a look at the units afterwards. Uh, but those guys were tough. And now they're actually charging one of our units. Our unit is evading. This is not good. Um, now, they did manage to evade, but we, now we've got an enemy horse unit right on our ass chasing us. Okay, there we go. Some commanded shot enemies are moving up, and we should be able to make short work of them. At least, I hope so. Uh, and hopefully, we can wipe those guys out on the right side. That would be wonderful. All right, residual shooting phase. Let's hope we get some good dice rolls here. And we're doing a lot of damage to that central infantry unit. Poor guy. He's taking a lot of hits. Um, but our guys are taking some good hits too. And the enemy is in firing range now. That's something I don't like. It is our turn. Anyway, guys, I hope you will post comments. I hope you will like this video. Like I said, this is a game I want to focus on heavily this week. Um, and if you guys enjoy it, maybe even next week. Who knows? Um, it's just something I really want to get into, and uh, I hope you guys will support that endeavor. So thank you so much, guys, for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe down below, and have an awesome, awesome day.